Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm um, changing things up a bit, filming before I do my comparison and opinion thing. Um, my whiteboard, I guess, because I thought I'd try something new, but tomorrow I'll probably I'll be over there filming, um, back from, over on my other side. So, as mentioned in yesterday's video, I will be talking about an important relationship in Heartland. But I didn't tell you guys what it is because I wanted to surprise you because there are a lot of relationships in Heartland. So this one's actually a sister relationship. It's between Luke and Amy. Um, and this relationship is actually a lot different than all the others. So. Lou is actually a lot like her dad and has to have things done a certain way at a certain time. And if they don't, things don't go her way. The only part, of the only difference is that when things don't go her way, she gets very upset and, wond and wonders why, and then freaks out. Whereas Amy, on the other hand, is a lot like Jack. You know, stuck in her ways, does things her own way when she wants to. And doesn't like change, unlike Lou, who wants everything to change. And we first see how, I guess, sort of, eh, the relationship is in season one when Lou returns. And they argue all the time. Um, and part of that reason is because Lou is ten years older than Amy. So by the time Amy was eight, Lou was often college somewhere getting her business degree and seven years later she lose in New York and Amy's still in high school on the ranch and when Lou opens up her dude ranch um, she has Amy take the horses onto a ride but Amy as we know is busy and also when it comes to planning the wedding Amy when it comes to playing Amy's wedding, Lou wants her to do this now and this and this and this, where Amy is kind of, Amy and Ty are kind of people where they're like, we'll wait till we absolutely have to do it before we do anything, where with Lou it's like, oh, it's six months before my wedding, I gotta do this now. We also see that in season 10. But they do care about each other, they do argue they do care about each other, as we see in season 10, and pretty much every season. But they do butt heads sometimes, like like Tim and Jack. Especially in that first season. And a bunch of other times. But that's just because they're so different. That they're they're so different that they butt heads when they when they're trying to do things their own way, the same thing their own way, like planning a wedding or preparing for the birth of a child or whatever else. But they also can be they also help each other. Like Amy actually convinces Lou to try and work things out with Peter, even though it doesn't. Lou kind of talks to Amy about that whole Ahmed thing in season 8 and makes sure that no one else in the family knows because Amy wants it that way. And other things. Um, and as we can tell, similar relationships are used a lot in TV shows. In Little House on the Prairie, the, there's... The first two seasons, it's Mary Laura Carey, and then we move into Mary Albert Carey Grace, and then we get Albert James Carey Cassandra Grace. Or in the Waldens, there's all seven of them. Or definitely there's the King Children. How to New Dragon, um, Jeffna and Tufnut's whole relationship is pretty much weird, so I'm not going to get into that. But they all pretty much start out the same, you know, the siblings, they argue, but they mean well because they do things differently. I mean, my sister, we argue 
sometimes other times we are each other's best friends like in with every sibling so um that's gonna be it for this video I need to look up. oh yes stay tuned for tomorrow where i will be doing my favorite elements of heartland if i haven't already done it if i have i'll be doing a different video but anyway be sure to give this video a like subscribe hit the notification bell and comment down below on which Heartland relationship you want me to cover next, or any relationship in any TV show that I cover. Or maybe I don't cover, I might look into it, you never know. Alright, see you.